What is essential is invisible to the eye, the little prince repeated, so he would be sure to remember. Apart from the Bible, there's no other book that has been read by so many people. It's been translated in over 200 languages. The numbers are staggering. As with all great classics, it's a book that changes every time you read it. There are so many tales and so many myths, and it seems to transcend them all. Why? Why this huge success? The book begins with our narrator, the pilot, inspired to try to create something himself. A story becomes universal when something is also personal. Santik Zubri wrote and illustrated the book. This is a person who had flown missions during the Second World War. He traveled immensely and knew something about the universality of loneliness. Santik Zubri sat his nieces and nephew on his knee and told stories about meeting a little prince in the desert. He was able to translate all of that into a simple, distilled tale. The little prince is wondering, what's going to become of me? And the little prince takes off on his intergalactic journey. There's a passion to the little prince, which is probably a direct carryover from its author. There's an innocence that trails him around, which many of us outgrow, and he never did. You have to grow up. You can't stop the clock. But you have this ability to tap back into that more innocent, more pure time in your life. No matter what your interpretation of the book is, that resonates.